it's just been an absolute whirlwind of emotion, to be honest. You know, it's a real dream come true to be able to display such a fantastic jet for the Air Force. I am absolutely ecstatic at the thought of taking the Typhoon to air shows. 1,500 feet in the air, practicing for a busy year of air shows. Flight Lieutenant Adam O'Hare is the Royal Air Force's newest Typhoon display pilot. It's been a lifelong dream since the age of 14. I had the opportunity to go to Riyadh, to the Royal International Air Tattoo, which is something that in Northern Ireland we'd never, I'd never seen before. We didn't really have a, a fast jet presence. It was more helicopters that I'd seen growing up. And I still remember that day getting off the bus at Riyadh and seeing this airfield full of all these jets and aircraft that on, I'd only ever seen in magazines. When I then seen them all displaying throughout the day, I just knew that was something that I wanted to do. It's been all systems go for Adam as he's had to come up with a display fit for thousands of spectators. And it all starts here with these drawings. For my off crowd 45 corkscrew, I would just simply draw my line along the A-axis, have it coming off onto that off crowd 45, so to the crowd left, and then to simulate it, it's just a simple waving line. So this was right back at the very beginning. I got selected as a display pilot around early November, and I already had a concept of ideas that I wanted to take forward into my display sequence, but this is, would have been me sitting in a quiet space, just simply drawing all the maneuvers, thinking in my head if they would work, and if I don't like it, I simply would have rubbed them out or scrumpled it up, thrown it away and started again. And then from here, after a couple of days of drawing, I would have moved into the simulator to practice and see if it works. Great background, and now coming on to what we call the A axis, which is pretty much flying straight down the runway. Stand throttles up, do not need as much speed for this one. About 350 knots would be sufficient. As I come around the corner, then I roll inverted immediately, and I'm passing the crowd upside down. Please, we look at and we help Adam with hopefully uh, the aircraft limitations, with the, the height he needs to perform manoeuvres. Will he have too much speed? Will he have not enough speed? So he can, hide, he can hone those skills in the sim, so he knows what he's looking for when he gets airborne. We can also give him different weather conditions, different wind conditions, which really affect on the day. So once he has got the routine um, perfected, which is where he's getting to now, then we can start to introduce a lot of different variables like that, which will make it harder for him uh, in real life. The Typhoon has a strict set of manoeuvres that it's capable of doing. The job of the display pilot is to come up with a new routine to showcase them to the best of their ability to wow the crowds. This year I'm trying to incorporate a lot more speed into the display. Obviously the Typhoon is very capable uh, of going very, very fast and the fans love that. You know, they like to see a fast jet roaring past them at the air shows. It gives them a real, a real buzz. So there are several maneuvers this year which incorporate a lot of high speed. As a result of that, that means there's a lot of high G-force as well. So I'm working very hard to be able to cope with that. You know, my body gets put under a lot of stresses and strains, but it's all coming together very well. We've got a long way to go before we get towards our uh, public display authority, but it's looking good so far. And we're getting towards the end of the sequence now. After clocking up the hours in here, Adam takes his display to the skies. Practicing at 1,500 feet, he will eventually get down to around 200 and take his routine to the Public Display Authority, who will decide if it's worthy for an air show. So if you go right the way back to the exit from the corkscrew... But before he gets there, his routine is examined by a team of ex-display pilots, where they iron out any issues. It looks very tight. It's just going to be how you then solve that distance. Yeah. Um, I think your entry, though, entry is absolutely bond. There's no issues with that. Um, it's, it's that opportunity to start while you're practicing, just pushing it nearer and nearer. Yeah just to get a feel for it. There, there might be times where you go, oh, that's probably a bit too close, and you can yeah. back it off. Seeing the progression so far, I, I look back at how I was doing at this stage, and I'm just envious of what, what Adam is doing because it's just so neat. Like we saw when we were debriefing, and I was mentioning about symmetry, 
trying to capture the, the finesse so early on is really impressive, which means that he knows the sequence, he's flying it well, and we could just tweaking individual manoeuvres. And he's got another 16 flights until PDA, so it, each one is just going to get better and better. So yeah, super confident for Adam. Each display pilot carries an impressive career in the RAF, from international exercises to frontline operations, and Adam is no different. I started flying Typhoon around six years ago when I finished the operational conversion unit on 29 Squadron, which is what I'm back on now. I went to three squadron for my first frontline operational tour and was able to take the Typhoon around the world on exercises and operations. In terms of operations, the main one will be Operation Shader, uh, based from Cyprus, operating over Syria and Iraq. And that was a real sense of achievement, that one. Other operations have been the likes of the Falklands, where we continue to patrol the skies down there. I've deployed there several times. And then back here in the UK, also on our number one priority, which is Quick Reaction Alert, defending the United Kingdom's airspace uh, from any aggression. With plenty of experience under his belt, Adam's attention is fully on making this display the best one yet, and he hopes to bring it back to his home country in Northern Ireland for the first time in nearly seven years. But before he gets there, he has to pass the Public Display Authority at the end of May. Kirsty Chambers, Forces News, RAF Coningsby. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.